Hello, this is the first video in handling strings with Visual Basic. As you notice here, I have uh, two strings. The first one is str1. It's declared as a string, as you notice, the data, data type in uh, Jamie Robert between double quotations. So this is a literal string, as it is. Uh, <coughs> and also, we have another string with four names, Alicia, Keith, James, Michael. So what I'm going to do here is to apply some of those functions that is going to show us uh, uh, how easy it is to manipulate strings. For example, I could uh, go ahead and communicate part of the strings. I could extract uh, also uh, the strings at certain points. And we're going to use some legacy function like left, right, and mid first, and we're going to move to substrings. But before we do this, I want to show you that in the design, I have a label one, and I have, of course, a button to trigger the event. So this is what I'm going to communicate my result to it. And if I go back to the code, I'm going to write here our label, label one, that is text. And I'm going to use the legacy functions that we use in, uh, for example, I could use uh, Microsoft dot Visual Basic dot left, which is a function still uh, used. Uh, of course, we can have that uh, over or uh, we could you could, actually we could use a, a different uh, newer functions that pertain directly to the strings as a class uh, such as substrings but let's go ahead and be exposed to this one anyway so if I say here str1 and I'm going to extract uh, <coughs> from left all the way up to five so this is what I'm communicating to the result of that Notice here, in a second, you will be able to see that I'm extracting uh, five characters from the beginning of the string. So here we go, we got Jamie. Uh, five is meaning uh, five characters. The same thing, I could go ahead and uh, uh, chain the left now to right. If I do the same thing, another function is right. And here we go. And I'm going to run the program again and show you that I got five actually from the right of the string. If I wanted to change this to, let's say, uh, six, so we're going to be able to see that we got the full name. So left and right are handy, but uh, there are more powerful functions like the mid, as you will see. For example, <coughs> if I wanted to go ahead and start the mid function. Uh, mid is going to require three parameters. It's going to take the strings. It's going to take, it take at the beginning of points, which I'm going to say here like seven. And it's going to go as far as six. This way I'm going to be able to get really Robert again, if you notice, because I'm starting at the, look here, at the seven position of the strings. And I want to go as far as six. Which is going to help us now see how we're going to actually get to split Jamie Robert into two strings. I wanted to split a full name into uh, first name and last name. So how are we going to do this? First of all, we need to understand about another function. I'm going to go ahead and uh, comment this so it doesn't uh, distract me. I will show you also how to communicate some of the results using a, uh, a new function, label one, <coughs> label one dot uh, uh, text. And I'm going to show you that there is a function, it's called in string. It's a really very powerful function. It goes and look for specific character in the string. For example, I'm looking for this base in string, string one, and I could communicate that result. It's going to be an integer value, by the way. And if I communicate that to the label box, it's going to give me six because that's really where the position that uh, the space occurred in the strings, which is made out of Jamie Robert. So now I could really get into that string by saying, okay, uh, look for the strings. So anything between the, before the, the space is going to be the first name and anything after the space is going to be the last name for Jamie Robert. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to leave that as a comment, and I'm going to use 
the mid strings, the mid string is going to be, as you notice here, it allows me the three parameters. The first parameter is actually the string one. We're still talking about it. I wanted to start at certain position in order to get the first name. <laughs> actually, I could go ahead and uh, <coughs> take that and say this is this is first name as string. Okay, I could go ahead and mention that as a string, so it will be getting <coughs> extracted as a string, first name. And I'm going to say string, and starting at what? Starting at one, and go as far as in the string, in the string, see the space, but take, go ahead and subtract one from it, because the space at position six, and I only need to go as far as five. So if I communicated now the label one dot text and it communicated, communicated the first name to the label and you should be able to see Jamie. Unless, okay, here I have a, a error here, which is good. It's good to know what's going on here. <coughs> so in its strings, of course I need to give it the strings name, which is string one, by the way. I forgot to give that to it. So again, in string require two parameters, not one parameter, not the space. It need to know what strings I'm looking for the space within it. So if I go ahead and, as you notice, Jamie is going to be the, what I'm trying to extract here. The same thing I could do if I say dimension last name as string. And now we're going to work with Microsoft again, dot visual basic. Dot in, but now we're looking for string one. We wanted to start one position after, after the space, after the space. I'm going to copy this and base it right here, and base it right here. And I'm going to go plus one. So after you find that space, plus one. And you need to go as far as what? The end of the string, which means the lengths of the string, the lengths of the string, which is going to be the len, which is the function, is going to measure the strength of the first string, and it's str1. So it's going to start uh, at that position, and it needs to go as far as the string, the length of the string. So if I communicated, again, uh, let's go ahead and do comment this here. And if I communicated the result to the web, I mean to the, sorry, to the label uh, one, it's going to show me Robert because this way, this way, uh, I'll be able to, last name, I'm sorry, last name. This way I'll be able to uh, <coughs> see the last name being extracted. So regardless of how many character in the first name or the last name I should be able to really be able to extract um, a first name and the last name from a full name, which is going to be a very practical example in the real world where we are really required to do such a thing. Thank you for watching the first video. I'm going to continue with you in the second videos to cover more of these uh, wonderful function that uh, deals directly with strengths.